Hello and welcome to another edition of TSL Talk. Unfortunately, uh, my colleague Adam Smith can't be here today. He's off getting a spray tan. So we've had to get in the uh, ABC's hairy piece of eye candy, <laughs> Brett Jeeves. Brett, thanks Jeez. very much for joining us. Actually, last time you weren't here, Smithy, and I had great pleasure in, uh, in destroying <laughs> you about your tan in, uh, in Thailand. But uh, no, it's good Smithy's not here. It gives me another chance to um, try and undercut him and take his job at some stage. Yeah, no, you're looking for employment. Oh, I am, you? yeah. <laughs> Recently... Uh, out of work, so <laughs> if anything pops up, let us know. We're uh, back at North Hobart on Saturday, and it's, it almost goes to scripts. Sack the coach, come out next week and have a win. But they picked up North Hobart, obviously, Clinton mm. Brown departing, and there was some confusion. The board wanted him out, and then he came out and said that he resigned, and then he cried that mm. they sacked him. And it's uh, been one of the more remarkable weeks in statewide league football history. And, um, but they replace North Hobart replaced Clinton Brown with probably one of the, the, the more outstanding coaches available in the, in the whole competition in Lance Spalding. Um, his structures were, were terrific. He, he said to me before the game, watch our stoppage work and our tackling and our pressure. And, and that's, that's where they won the footy. They, yeah. they, you know, they, were, they were terrific um, in, in the round the ground. And we've seen, the thing is with North Hobart, we've seen them do this before for a week then come out the next week and just be deplorable. I suppose that's the big challenge for Lance to get them to do it week in, week out. Well, he's got, a, he's got an outstanding list to work with, hasn't he, really? They've got some stellar players. Nathan Street, one of the better ball users. Kenny Hall, who's uh, got some ankle issues at the moment. But if you're Lance Sporty and you come into that, into that mix of, of players, um, you, you're going to be pretty excited about uh, who, who you've got to work with. And where does this leave Glenorchy? We saw them fly out of the blocks. They were four and zip. They were the talk of the town. And now they've only won two of the last seven games. And just holding on to a spot in the top five. Well, you just wonder. And it's it's something that when Jace Ackerman signed with Glenorchy, and I always had in the back of my mind, terrific for the game, no doubt. Terrific for the club financially. They've had some great uh, results in terms of crowd and some brilliant functions. But if you've got a bloke, one of your better players and one of your better leaders not training throughout the week, what, what, what does that do to, you, to, to, to the other players, to the younger players? Does that have an effect come game day? Um, does Jason Akimanis fully know the, the, uh, the structures and the mm. game plan? It's a, it's, I think it's a real, it's a real uh, cause of uh, concern for Glenorchy. They've beaten Devonport and South Launceston, um, and they're their only two, two wins in their last seven, yep. I think. So, yeah, they're in some serious strife, the Pies. And now they're going to throw in another new one uh, in, in Clinton, who someone who hasn't been there all year and doesn't know the structures and that. So that's going to be another challenge for them. Yeah, well, speaking to Byron before the game um, on the weekend against North Harbour, he was obviously over the moon with the inclusion of Clinton Brown, another uh, another bigger body. Well, he's a smaller uh, human, I suppose, <laughs> but he's, he's, he's cut like a, uh, like a Mally Bull, like a mm-hmm. Greek god. Um, so, you know, he's just, just got a hardened body, Clinton Brown. And, and watching the Pies play on the weekend, that, that's where I think they're lacking. You know, a couple of really young kids who... Uh, the, you know, their bodies just ha- haven't developed at the age of 15 and 16. I think that's you know that stoppage work that Lance Spalding spoke of is, is where they came undone. And just looking at the ladder, it's a, it's a real racing team now. We've got Launceston and Clarence out in front. The bigger, experienced teams, they're just uh, streaking away and they look like it's a, it flags down to those two. Yeah, well, we just touched on it, didn't we? The, mm. you know, the younger, inexperienced bodies uh, you know, of Lord of Old Hobart. North Hobart, probably not as much. They've got yep. some, some big units. I think, you know, obviously, you know, we, we, we've discussed it at length, but Lance Sporting will be, will be outstanding for them at the, in the last part of the year. And, of course, Glenorchy, smaller bodies. You know, Launceston and Clarence, just they've got some big units, you know, and they're able to fill those holes back and forward. Mm-hmm. And their midfield is a, a, a silky smooth. And, of course, Clarence adding Alex Gilmore during the week um, as well, former Devils player and Richmond draftee, um, yep. only adds to their strength. Probably uh, someone who snuck under the, the radar is North Lonnie. They've uh, the win over Devonport on the weekend. The results have gone their way. They're now a game clear in third spot. Yeah, it was tight heading this round, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, there were three teams on uh, sitting in equal third. And uh, yeah, North Lonnie, yeah, as you say, they've snuck snuck along. They they beat North Hobart, and that that was uh, a couple of weeks ago. And that was really the first that that I'd really taken any notice of, of North Launceston, to be uh, brutally honest. And um, I haven't seen them play all year, so I'm looking forward to the chance of uh, getting to see them play. Where do Hobart go from here? They, uh, they have got a lot of injuries, they've got a few kids out with the Mariners, but it's the same for a lot of clubs, and they've gone up to Young, Youngtown and been smashed by uh, South Lonnie. Yeah, uh, and of course Briggs out, was, mm. uh, suspended for five weeks isn't, isn't helping the cause, and you just wonder if, uh, if, uh, if the Brer Foxes 
uh, on his last legs, maybe up there, that his message doesn't seem to be getting across to the boys. And you know, two and nine, there's probably four or five games in there that they that they could have won. There's mm. been a couple of two point losses. Um, they were up against North Hobart Good Friday by 40 points at half time and, and got steamrolled. And that's happened to them a couple of times. Glenorchy as well. So yeah, some real concerns up there. What about the coaches? I mean, it's we saw Clinton go this week. Uh, just looking at the facts and. There's two and a half years of TSL footy, we've had 12 coaches depart and uh, the only coach who's been there all the time is Brett Gapen, who's retiring at the end of this season. Is there enough support there for coaches? Are the clubs asking too much for, for what the coaches get in return? Yeah, well that's that's probably the key thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I guess you know, the coaches are working day jobs, nine to five, and um, it's it's got to be hard to then, if you've got a, got a young family, to then give up two or three hours um, to train and then you've got selections and, and it, be, it would become a giant headache and I think that's more a, re, a reflection of um, you know, that time yep. for the coaches and, and, and the lack of money involved, not, not a reflection on clubs doing poorly or um, the state of the game. Yeah. Oh, well, Brett, well, thanks very much for thanks, joining mate. us no, today. Thanks, mate. It's been a pleasure. And if anyone out there has some work for Brett, <laughs> get in contact with the Mercury. Yeah. I'll, I'll do anything except lift and, and uh, any manual labour. No. His hands just weren't made for getting dirty. Look how small they are as well. And remember, for your TSL stories, pick up your copy of the Mercury or go to the Mercury online.